Welcome back to JR Pro Shop Vids, everyone. Today we've got the brand new Storm Road Warrior. This ball is blue and silver. It looks amazing going down the lane. Let's get out there, let's throw a few shots. Today we're gonna be comparing it to the Optimum Idle Pearl and also the brand new Phase AI from Storm. We're gonna see where these balls align. We're gonna go from there. We're gonna try a few different lines, a couple different release points to see how these balls react to one another and to the lanes. And today in league, we bowled on 43 feet boardwalk uh, it's about 4.6 to 1 so it's in the challenge oil pattern category there's been four games of league bowled by three people so we definitely have some burn here and we're definitely moving left and we're gonna see how these balls work on kind of a burned up condition probably game five or six here league slash tournament play this ball it has r2s deep pearl what does that mean it's a little bit different than the R2S of the other bowling balls. It's meant to go a little bit further down lane and just clear the fronts a little bit easier, right? It's got a, a little bit more skid to it before it starts getting to roll and starting to hook. So if you're bowling on drier lanes or lanes that have a lot of friction built in, this is gonna be a really good ball for that kind of scenario. We also have the same core as the Road, the black and red. That was a hybrid though, and you can watch that video here. We did a ball review on it a while back. All right, as you can see in the first few shots, I was standing on 37 and I was kind of trying to feed that ball out to 10. You can't get it too far to the right. And this ball was really angular down lane, cleared the fronts really well, just like it said in the write up. I then switched to the Storm Phase AI and I already know this ball is gonna roll a little bit earlier and it's gonna be smoother off the back end compared to the Road Warrior here. And you can really see that ball get into a roll in the mid lane way sooner than the Road Warrior and I missed right a couple times and it was able to roll in the mid lane and make its way back to the pocket and hit flush. I also missed left once or twice there and that was also okay with the phase AI just cause it read the mids a little bit better. Uh, as you can see the road warrior a little further down lane, more sharp in the back end. So maybe a, just a little bit too much oil right now for the road warrior. I then used the Optum Model Pearl and this ball is definitely longer and sharper than the phase AI. As you can see, I missed in a couple times and I just didn't see the friction at all just went straight through i uh, got a light strike and then i left a 2810 right so that's a telltale sign that that ball is just a little bit too clean through the fronts not enough mid lane so then i moved my eyes to the right made sure i got that ball to the dry and it went through the face so the optimal pearl definitely sharper way more sensitive to the dry boards so once i moved my feet left with the optimal pearl it looked much better got a couple flush strikes and then i left a four pin that ball definitely corners the hardest out of these three where the phase AI rolls the earliest and the road warrior definitely hooks the least. So then I threw a couple with the road warrior moving left right where I threw the optimal model pearl and you could just see how much weaker that is in the back end, right? I left a 10 pin a couple times and that's just the ball not picking up early enough, not driving through the pins at the right angle, just a little bit too much oil and going a little bit too far down lane before it starts to hook. Then I threw the phase AI on that line moving left and that one looked the best. The phase AI seems to look the best right now on this pattern. Just a little bit too much oil for the Road Warrior. So I'm thinking after the Phase AI starts hook a little too early, a little too much, then the Road Warrior would be perfect. About halfway through the vid, just before we start moving our feet left, my question for you guys, since we're throwing the Road Warrior, how far do you drive to tournaments? You know, for me personally, two or three hours, no problem. Five or six hours pushing it. Over that, we're flying, right? How far do you drive to tournaments? Let me know down in the comments below. Uh, so in conclusion, Road Warrior, hooks the least, cleanest through the fronts, you know, just like the write-up says on the Storm website, you know, R2S Deep Pearl, that ball really slides, slides really easy. Meant for drier lanes, high friction surfaces, later in the block in tournaments. But this ball is gonna be really, really popular, especially later in the day in tournaments, I can just tell. The colors look really nice together and it looks really good going down the lane. Phase AI, earlier out of the three, uh, got that heavy mid lane roll that you know, it's really hard to find in a symmetrical pearl, right? And then the Optimum Idol Pearl, definitely the sharpest. The most sensitive to the dry boards, Optimum Idol Pearl. If you gotta move way left and get that ball to the right and have it come back, Optimum Idol Pearl is that ball for you. If you need that ball to start up a little earlier, a little bit smoother, but pick up in the mids, that's the Phase AI. And if you need a ball just to get down the lane, down as far as you can, Road Warrior. All right, new balls, same old code, Jungle Barks, 10% off your order at checkout. Shop.bufabowling.com. Check it out, got absolutely everything. You don't have a pro shop nearby, need some stuff, he's got everything. Check it out, see you in the next bit.
Thank you.